The number of newtons measures the force of gravity acting on the apple. It's a complicated equation, but I'm beginning to understand the key parts. The force depends on the mass of the two objects and the distance between them. The bigger the objects, the bigger the force. And the further apart they are, the weaker the force. The two masses, M1 and M2, could be anything. The Earth and the apple, or the Earth and the moon, or the Earth and the sun. Ruth told me Newton's equation allowed us to understand why the moons and planets move around the solar system. His equation seemed to make sense of, well, the universe. So the equation itself, F is gmm on R squared, that's Newton's equation of gravity. But how we, how we use it, this is a sort of process, you know, yes. of doing science, yes. of, of calculating things, of making predictions. You've now shown me how we use that equation. How yes. we would use it, yes. Yeah. This is our paint, really, how we paint the world. We paint it in equations. <laughs>